Tess, Tess, one, two. One, two. Can you hear us? Yeah. Prestige worldwide. <laughs> Wide. As big sisters, we have learned through mistakes on how to avoid getting in trouble. We then pass down this knowledge to help protect Alyssa from getting in trouble. For example, we showed her how to hide her alcoholic beverages in the ceiling in her bedroom so she, parents wouldn't find them. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration, dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Drew and Alyssa on the day they intend to form a home of their own. I always like to begin with just a word of thanks to the couple, to Drew and Alyssa, because I had the privilege of meeting with them know, seven or eight times, whatever it was, I lose track. But it was a great preparation. And so I wanted to say thank you, because all of you that are here, you're here because you're connected to these two in some way. And you have a great privilege for this is a wonderful couple. I don't know if, I don't know if I ever mentioned this to you guys in marriage prep. Have you ever seen the wedding, uh, I mean, uh, the Princess Bride? You've seen it, Drew, have you ever seen it? Alyssa, you need to show them the movie. It's a good movie. For those of you who have seen the movie, it's an awesome movie. I just saw it like, like a week ago, so it's kind of fresh in my mind again. I have the VHS version, the DVD version, and you can get it on Netflix or Amazon, so there's no possible excuse for not watching it. But in that movie, the hero is Wesley, which I think is a great name, and the, the leading lady, her name is Buttercup. I mean, how can you go wrong with Buttercup as your name? Well, Wesley loves Buttercup, but she doesn't recognize that love. And the only way that she comes to realize that he loves her is that every time she would ask him to do something, she was the farmer's daughter and he was the, and him, just a farm hand. He would look her in the eye, because that's love, and he would say, as you wish. And over time, she began to realize that every time he said, as you wish, he was saying, I love you. Isn't that what our Lord did on the cross? Isn't that what the humbleness of love is? Is to say to each other, as you wish. all those people that are behind you and me in front of you will be lifting you up. I don't think I ever told you this, but I have a book. It's a red book. It's about that thick. And I write down the names of every single couple that I witness their marriage. And every day, I pray for every one of them. So starting tomorrow, you will get prayed for at least by one person every day. And I hope that all of you also lift them up in prayer because it is a great gift. And to say... A prayer for another is a sign of love.
Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever. And assuming all the responsibilities of married life, and so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Drew and Alyssa, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared? as you follow the path of marriage, to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live. I am. And are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His church. I, Drew, take you, Alyssa, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Alyssa, take you, Drew, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Bless and sanctify your servants in their love, O Lord, and let these rings, a sign of their faithfulness, remind them of their love for one another through Christ our Lord. Amen. Alyssa, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have received this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we come to that wonderful time of the ceremony. We get to introduce the couple for the first time to all of you. So it is with great joy that I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Drew and Alyssa McCullough. Before this day, Drew sat me down and gave me two rules I had to follow during the speech. Number one, keep it short. I got a 15 minute timer, so we'll, we'll keep that going. Number two, only embarrass Alyssa. Drew and I ran into each other for the first time freshman year of college. We had a class together, but I was in football and he was in track, so we were far from friends. It wasn't until after the football season, when I was officially in track, I slid into Drew's DMs for the first time. Little did I know that that was going to spark a major friendship.
know Drew told me about a week ago he was pretty nervous for our um, our speech because he thought it was going to be a roast. He's only halfway correct. So so now let's talk about how these two lovebirds met. Alyssa made a big decision, which she is terrible at making decisions, to move to Dome College to pole vault. While there, she somehow vaulted herself into Drew's heart at a vo very low height. Yeah, it must very have been low a height. low opening height. Sorry, Drew.